Julie Pinson's rise to fame. I was in People magazine. I was on the side of buses. I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. She went from Club Med performer to daytime star. Next, find out how losing one job led Julie to success. The highest point of my life so far is where I am right now. She plays the cunning Billy Reed on Days of Our Lives. I want to be bad. I want to be the bitch. She's Bo Brady's ex-wife, and her return could wreak havoc on the golden couple of Salem. That's why I'm an actor. It's much more fun to be a bitch than it is to be the heroine. Good girl, Maggie. In real life, it took hard work and perseverance to build this dream life. And Julie says she owes much of her success to her family, who taught her never to give up on her dreams. I had a great relationship with my parents. They were fabulous. I think one of the reasons I'm an actor is because of my mother. Julie Pinson was born in Fremont, California, a suburb of San Francisco. I have two older brothers, Nick and Dean, yeah, that beat me up all the time. You know, learned how to climb trees really well and hop fences to try and keep up with them, but they didn't want to have anything to do with the girl. Julie's dad was a chiropractor, her mom a professional opera singer who trained at the Juilliard School of Music. Julie's childhood was filled with family vacations. Disneyland, San Francisco, Yosemite. Summer days were often spent poolside, and Julie went to all of her mom's performances. I loved seeing her on stage, and uh, she was just so good at what she did, and I remember looking up at her with these big eyes, thinking, wow, I want people to see me like that someday. Julie's parents encouraged her to pursue her dream, hoping it would also teach Julie about dedication. Her first role came in the fourth grade. It was a family affair. I played Fraulein Rottenmeier in the Heidi play. When it was my turn to take my curtain call, my whole family stood up and just started cheering and clapping. Julie was hooked. By high school, she was getting rave reviews. A local critic even compared her portrayal of Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz to Judy Garland's. When Julie was 15, her parents divorced. My parents' divorce, it came out of the blue. We had a good life. All of a sudden, this comes along and rocks the boat. And everything just kind of shatters, and everything changes. At age 19, Julie started her first full-time job as a hostess at a Club Med resort in Mexico. My job at Club Med was like Julie McCoy, cruise director on the love boat. Julie worked in the restaurants and nightclubs, but after one month, she was ready to quit. I hated it. We all got sick, Montezuma's Revenge, and I, I just was so miserable, and I called my mom, and I said, Mom, I hate it here. I, I want to come home. I want to come home. But her mom forbade her to come home. She said, you wanted to do this, you're going to do it, and you will survive. You'll get used to it. You'll be okay. And I think it's the best thing she ever did. Julie stayed, and the lesson about dedication paid off. She was hired to perform in the resort's theater. I was on stage every night, and that was what I loved. I was singing and dancing and, well, I wasn't really singing. We, were, we would lip sync to songs. And uh, I just loved it so much. Julie stayed for two years. The experience helped build her confidence, so much so that at age 21, she packed her bags and moved to Hollywood. Julie set out to become an actress and started at the very bottom of the ladder as an extra and then as a stand-in. It was a really uh, a fun job, and I was a part of a crew, and I got to go to work every day and hang out. Julie was also auditioning for roles in films and soaps, but didn't get anything. I was a struggling actor in Los Angeles. I wasn't doing very well. I wasn't getting any jobs. Um, you know, I was down to, like, you know, no money. I was thinking, you know what, I'm just going to quit, and I'm going to move someplace else and get married and have kids. As always, Julie turned to her parents for guidance. This time, it was Dad who kept Julie from giving up on her dreams. He said, well, you've made it this far, right? And I said, yeah. He said, you're managing to pay your, your rent every month, right? Yeah. And he said, keep going. You can do it. You're OK. Stay there and keep going. 
Julie took the advice and didn't give up. Then in 1997 came the chance of a lifetime. My mom and I had planned a trip to Egypt and sure enough, Murphy's Law, they wanted me to screen test for Port Charles. She decided not to make the trip and audition instead. So my mom left without me. <laughs> I said, bye mom, I'm gonna stay here and try and get a job. You go to Egypt, I'll meet you there. So I tested for all three of the female lead characters and the next day, Sunday, I got on a plane and I flew to Egypt and met my mom. Somehow, some way, we managed to hook up in Cairo, I think. They took in the sights for two weeks and had an amazing adventure. When they landed back in L.A., Julie checked her phone messages. Port Charles had called. She got the part of Dr. Eve Lambert. Julie and her mom went nuts. She was jumping up and down, and I was just in shock because I went, oh, no. Now I have to act. We've got more of Julie Pinson coming up, but first, it's time for Sopography's Star Quiz. Julie Pinson spends her spare time indulging in a surprising hobby. Does she enjoy cake decorating, astronomy, or needlepoint? Coming up next, Julie faces her first scene. I just, I didn't want to mess up at all. And gets her first taste of fame. I was in People magazine. I was on the side of buses. I was like, oh my god, that's so cool. Welcome back to Soapography. Julie Pinson spends her spare time indulging in a surprising hobby. What is it? Cake decorating. Julie learned as a little girl and loves to bake cakes for friends' birthdays, anniversaries, and baby showers. In 1997, Julie Pinson's dream came true. She scored the part of Dr. Eve Lambert on the brand new soap, Port Charles. She'll never forget her first scene. I didn't want to mess up at all. I wanted to be perfect on my first scene. And I was so nervous. When I watched it, when it premiered, it, I was kind of glad because it didn't look like I was as nervous as I was. Suddenly, Julie was famous. I was in People magazine. I was on the side of buses driving around Los Angeles. And I remember the first time I saw that, like, it's me. <laughs> in her first year, Julie was nominated for Outstanding Young Lead Actress. With success, Julie traveled and shopped. She went around the world with her mom and loved Paris. You forget about the Louvre, forget about any churches or museums or, you know. The only thing I saw was the inside of the Louis Vuitton store, Chanel, Christian Dior. In 2001, Julie got some bad news. The executive producer uh, called me into her office on a Friday. <laughs> if you get called into the office on a Friday, <laughs> you're fired. Dr. Eve Lambert was being killed off in two weeks. Julie was stunned. It was heartbreaking. It was horrible. You know, if they wanted me, I would have been on Port Charles forever. So this is going to sound pretty strange. After having a couple glasses of wine, I looked in the mirror and I said goodbye to Eve. And it was so weird. Once again, Julie's parents were close by. I was the one crying on the phone, but you know, my mom was like, it's okay, you're gonna be fine. Don't worry about it, you know? Julie proved them right. She guest starred on the primetime sitcom Dharma and Greg. She scored a brief role as tough record exec Shiloh on The Young and the Restless. Then, Days of Our Lives came calling. In 2004, Julie got a shot at the role of Billy Reed. Originally played by Soap Talk host Lisa Rinna, the two share an uncanny resemblance. She had her hair very similar yep. to mine, and I think because of our coloring, mm -hmm. we did look, I mean, I remember seeing you one day, I was at the gym, I looked up, I love this and girl. I was like, oh my God, who is that actress? She looks like me. Casting agents also loved Julie's talent and knew immediately Julie was the perfect choice to reprise the juicy role. Billy's tough, man. She's a lot tougher. She's a spy. And so I love the fact that I get to go to work and I get to carry guns and I get to knock out the bad guys. Julie Pinson. She learned a valuable lesson as a young woman about determination and used it to conquer the world of soaps. The highest point of my life so far is where I am right now.